And here we are in Japan, back, and this is the day before the UFC oh, came to Japan. Uh, so in the audience, we had a lot of UFC competitors, but also a lot of Yamamiya. We also had a lot of UFC uh, spectators who came to the show to check me out, of course. And here we are, and uh, as you can see, I don't have much of a stare down. I don't like to stare people down. I just look at the ground. I think it's all a little, yeah, BS, you know. Oh, look how tough I am. I, no, it's just not me. And here we go. Now, this is a long time ago that I've seen this fight, so... But I have good feelings about it. <laughs> but I, I, I haven't seen it afterwards, so let's see. Oh, never kick. Take him down. Side control, good. Oh, I tried the boss with the neck crank right away there. Did you see it? I tried it again, but he's pulling his leg away. So he knows <laughs> that it's coming up. You see? He's closing his legs. Now they're warned. I mean, they're smart people there. Nice little breakdance move right there. I'm going for the neck rank. And I heard him a little bit. I heard that it had effects, so probably, yes, that's what I wanted to say. I'm going to do it again. Didn't work. Okay, okay. Now I put my mouthpiece out. Here, people don't see it. I put my mouthpiece out and I bite on the side of my tongue because my mouth was so dry. And for all the fighters, if you bite on the side of your tongue, you will uh, uh, you get water in your mouth automatically. Watch this. I'm looking what leg is up because I want to break his guard, obviously. Thank God for the ref. And thank God that he says, okay. So now he gives me a warning, but it doesn't make sense at all. Apparently I grabbed his throat or something, but hey, let's go with the flow. He's in the side mount. He's going to the half guard. He's trying to do that same thing that I try with all the other fights I had. Just crush down the throat, just push down the throat, but it's again it's very easy to escape you only have to look to the left or to the right and it's gone there i go for a figure four and if this doesn't work you can use it to turn your opponent. I always say that at the Pride shows as a commentator, but nobody does it. But if it doesn't work, if you can finish it off, use it to turn your opponent.
I have to watch out though here in this position. I can go for lag locks, but so can he. So if I go for a lag lock, I better make sure this is the best thing to do. Just go to the side mount and make sure that he cannot do anything with you. And uh, vice versa, actually, when you're in side mount, there are way more things that you can do. Now, let me see where I come up with. I say, okay, get up, because I don't like to play this game. He's circling around, going to the left. It's a good takedown defense there. Go for a choke right away, and it's on. The choke is full on, and he's escaping. He's escaping, but he's, uh oh, he's out. He's out. Whoa, where am I? Oh, hey, I'm in the ring. And there are people in the house. Am I, am I, am, oh, am I fighting? Okay. So now they continue to fight. Let's see what happens now. Boom, high kick. Expectable. Ooh, kick to the body. Roll over, and I think I got the choke again. Yes, and the fight is over. Yahoo! And we got the jump again. Here we go, he's shooting for a takedown. I underhook him uh, right away. I go for a different position. I slide under his throat, go for a rear naked choke. And as you can see in one second, yes, there it is. It's very, very tight. He escapes here with his left foot touching by touching the ropes. As you also can see that he's out here. <laughs> They didn't seem to matter, so they continued to fight. Kick to the body. Ooh, that was a good kick. I want to go for a cross face, but he slides into a choke. Beautiful finish. I locked up his hip here. The choke is real tight, and there's the tap out. <laughs>